Hi this is Robin and this tutorial is for a hip lock, also known as a hip key, on the Aerial Silks. I'll show you the move a couple of times in its entirety, I'll then slow it down and talk you through it. We're going to start with some prep exercises to help you get used to the movement of your body when you're doing the hip lock. Start by standing next to the silks, with the silks running down your hips, your inside hand above and your hands just above head height. Then lift up so your feet come off the floor. As you lift up, keep your body in a straight line so the silk stays hanging down next to your hips. Split your legs so your inside leg goes forward and your outside leg goes backward. Split your legs equally so your back leg is going the same distance back as your front leg is going forward. You don't want your front leg to go really far forward but your back leg to not go back hardly at all. Then bring your feet back together and lower down to standing. Repeat this exercise until you can lift up and keep your hips straight, not swinging in front of or behind the silks and until you have the control to split your legs an equal distance apart. For the next exercise, you're going to repeat what you've just done. Lift up, keep your hips straight and split your legs with your inside leg forward, outside leg backwards. Then drop your hips down toward the silks and move your legs past the silks so the silks hang between your legs. Bring your feet down to the floor. If you have kept your hips straight and your legs split equally, then the silks will hang in the middle of your legs on your upper thighs. If you have let your hips swing too far forward or too far back, or if your legs have come too far forward or back, then the silks will be touching your knees or your shins. Again, repeat this exercise until you have enough control to keep the silks in the right place. The next stage is to go into a hip lock, so repeat the movement that you've just done. Then instead of putting your feet on the floor, once the silk is hanging between your legs, then sweep what was your back leg forward and then up. Imagine you're trying to touch the pole of the silks above your hands with what was your back foot. You don't actually need to touch the silks with your foot, but aiming to touch the silks will bring your leg high enough and at the correct angle that the tail of the silks will fall down your leg onto your hip. As you're doing this, push your other leg, what was your front leg, down to the floor. This will cause the fabric wrapped around that front leg to slide high on your thigh. Then turn towards your hands so the pole of the silks comes across your hips and try to turn your hips down to the floor. Turn your chest to face the floor and lower your chest down so your chest is lower than your hips. This is easier if you let go of your bottom hand. Then bring your legs together and point your knees down to face the floor as well. Having your chest, knees and hips pointing down to the floor will lock the silks in place on your hips. Then squeeze your knees together and squeeze your knees to your chest. From there, if you feel comfortable, you can let go of your top hand. To exit, keep your hips turned down and your knees squeezed together. Bring both hands high onto the silks, then pull your chest up to your hands, release your legs and lower your legs down to stand. 